Shalom Yeshua, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Recha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessing to the Ophelakim, that's preached the word in all truth and sincerity, along to Israelite foreigner brothers that are like the heathens, but the line of Falsag was back to the nation of Israel, which nation of Israel, a so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is buddy your call of my but lesson and on today's lesson I'll be going to uh, Psalms the 94th chapter um, and our Lord willing you brothers and if you sisters out there be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know and I've been wanting to do a lesson on this chapter uh, for the longest man you know it's um only 23 verses, you know, and uh, it's a very beautiful chapter, man. It says a lot, you know. It's actually one of my favorite chapters as well, as well, you know. And I just want to go into it. So, um, saw so the verse, uh, the first verse, you know. Once again, Lord willing, you brothers and if you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. It says, um, the Lord Yahweh implored to avenge his people. That's right. It says, O Lord Yahweh, the Most High, to whom vengeance belong to, O Yahweh, to whom vengeance belong to, show, shoot thyself. And that's right, man. You know, because, you know, our, our Lord is a God of war. You know, and we want the Lord to start showing himself, showing his power, man. Now, we understand the Lord, as it says in Romans, the Lord is uh, long-suffering with the, uh, uh, with the raps, um, let me just get it real quick. I know it's in Romans somewhere. Long suffering. Let's see. Man, Lula, if you want it exact. Let's see. Uh, let's see. This is, uh, yeah. This is Romans 9.22. It says, What if Yahweh willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, which is the Edomites. The Edomites are the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, man. So Yahweh by Shai has been very long suffering. You know, he wanted, the Lord been one to show his wrath and make his power known, but he understand that his prophecies have to come to pass. You know, the Lord's not going to upset his own prophecy, so the Lord has been long-suffering. You see? Now, let's go up to, um, let's look up the word long-suffering. As the apostle, the elders of Great Millstone taught us, you know, to always look into the words, you know, to get better understanding of them, you know? Uh, long-suffering. Strong's G, 3115. Makrathumia. Makrathumia. Mm-hmm. When you go into it, it means patience, endurance. That's right. Perseverance, slowness, and avenging wrongs. You see, so our power to heaven for Yahweh has been patient, you know, and showing his power, man. You know, but it's going to be a point in time, man, when when all the prophecies come to pass, which the main prophecy that we're known is MOTB, the Karagma, according to Revelation 13, 16, then the Lord's going to show his power, his full power, man. You know, but let's read Psalms 94 1 again. It says, O Yahweh, the Most High, to whom vengeance belongeth, O Yahweh, to whom vengeance belongeth, shoot thyself, man. That's right. So you want the Lord to show us, or show his power to let these heathens know that they are but men. Uh, let's get that. Let them know that they are but men. Because Esau is proud, man. He think he's in control of everything. He think he got all the technology. He think he got all the weaponry. He think he got all the the military, um, you know, hosts of heaven. No, man. The Lord will bless you with that on the left-hand side. But the Lord is going to destroy you, man, when he come back. Yeah, but, man. Is this, uh... Yeah, Psalms 9 20 says, Put them in fear, O Yahweh, 
that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Salah, that's right, man. You know, so you want the Lord to do that, man. You know, to to Yahweh Shemoshah to show his power, to put them in fear, to let them know that they, that that these heathens saw him, Esau is but men. You see. Now let's go back to Psalms ninety four. On uh, verse two, it says, "Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth." Render a reward to the proud, man. That's right. You know, and our reward is going to be destruction, man. You know, we want the Lord to render a reward to the proud because the proud are happy right now, man. You know, as it says in the book of Malachi, they that work wickedness are set up. Um, this is, uh, yeah. This is Malachi 3.15. It says, And now we call the proud happy. Yeah, they that work wickedness are set up. Yeah, they, they that tempt you how are even delivered, man. You know, so the ones that's proud right now, these Edomites, you know, they're happy. You know, they happy because they, they have a foot over us right now. You know, we are, us Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, we are under subjection of them. So they get off on that, man. You know, but what did Job say? You know, through the Spirit of the Lord, Job 25, it says that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment, right? So, you know, the, the triumphing of the wicked is short and joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. You see, Esau is a hypocrite, man. You know, here it is, he locks up people that commits murders and heinous crimes, which I'm not justifying the wicked. You know, but he does the same thing behind closed doors, man. The senators and politicians, they be doing, um, they be involved in, in, in all of uh, Jake's children missing, man. They be, be the ones that be uh, sacrificing uh, Jake, man, on the left-hand side to their wicked gods. You know, just, just bring out, you know, one example, you know, there's many more, man. So Esau, you know, as it says, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. You want Yahweh Shai, which he is the judge of the earth, to render a reward to the proud, man. You know? The ultimate war is going to be uh, destruction of uh, America, Babylon the Great. You know, when the ice had been missile destroy America. You know? Uh, verse 3. It's the Lord Yahweh. How long shall the wicked? How long shall the wicked triumph, man? You know? And, you know, because it can seem like these devils ain't going to never go down, man. But they are going down with gradualism. You see? And we look at that word triumph. It means Eilaz. Eilaz, which means to exult, rejoice, triumph. Rejoice. You see? And especially them bankers, man. We Every time you see them bankers... But we saw the elite bankers, the Rob Charles, them, they always got a smile on their face. Face, why? Because they got they own the whole world. They own the lowest people. You know, but it's gonna point be a point in time, man, when they not gonna be smiling, man. When Yahweh Shai come back and deliver his elect, Yahweh Shai the elect, the hundred four four the hundred forty four thousand, the governor body is gonna put all these devils in in, in chains and shackles, man. You know, and, and the noble order is going to corner poverty. Is going is the Lord going to throw a monkey wrench in it, man? You know, it's not going to go as planned. You see, it says verse four: How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves and right. They don't boast themselves in Yahweh. They don't give credit to Yahweh by Shimon Shai, man. As John the Baptist said. You know, you can receive nothing except it be given from the Most High, man. You know? I think it's in St. John 3, 29, I believe. It's, uh, yeah, 27. It's like, yeah. It's the St. John 3, 27. It says, John, and this is John the Baptist, answered and said, a man cannot receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. See? So, so no one can receive nothing on earth except it be given from him from heaven, man. You know, and I, and I applied that 
that applies to the Edomites. But they are proud, you know, they speak hard things, you know. You know, in the media, they demonize us, saying that, you know, we we not the total tribes of Israel. That's a hard thing. And he know that we are, man. You know, but he has to play his narrative to the deceived people to make it seem like we're just not, we're not the chosen people. You know, because he wants to be known, because Esau doesn't have a heritage. You know, he wants to, um, st uh, which he did, he stole our heritage, man. You know? And they boast themselves. It says, verse 5, it says, They break and preach to thy people, O Yahweh, and inflict thy heritage, man. Do, th do that by way of these, you know, these um, unrighteous decrees, these laws that they make, you know. And just when you read Lamentations, you know, this is an example of them breaking this, you know. So, um, <clears throat> Lamentations 5 1 says, Remember, O Lord Yahweh, what has come upon us, consider and behold our reproach. And right, you know, and the Lord knows what we're going through, man. The Lord knows that we are in poverty, but we are rich. As Yahweh Shai said, we are rich because we Israelites. we rich because the kingdom of heaven is only for us. You know, we're you know, we rich because <clears throat> we have this knowledge, maybe rich in faith, you know. It says, um, verse 2, our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens, you know, strangers is foreigners, you know, and those foreigners and strangers are, are, are the Menomites, you know, um, that's fighting over our land, that, that's fighting over a land that is not theirs, you see, um, the, the Arabs, the Ishmaelites, and the, you know, the, 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 the small hats, you know, the Amalekites, it says, we are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. We have drunk in our water for money. Our wood is sold for unto us, man. So our own resources, because the earth is, was made for our sakes, you know. So our own resources that that uh, belong to us, we got to buy for it. We got to uh, We got to pay for it, you know. It says, our next are under persecution. We labor and have no rest, man. You know? It says service have rule over us. There's none that do deliver us out and in, man. You know? And these servers are these Edomites today. Back then, because when Jeremiah wrote this, um, this uh, Lamentations, you know, there was, there was uh, suffering from the Babylonians, man. You know? And at this time he wrote this, you know, them servants wasn't Babylonians. And but in today's day, you apply this in today's day as well. Today's day will be the Edomites, you know, as well as the other Hebrew nations that's allied with him to keep us down, according to um, Psalms eight third chapter. You know, so that's an example of them breaking us as a people. You know, separating um, sing single mother homes by way of the feminist movement. That's the way they breaking pieces of our people. You know, abortion clinics, you know, um, fast food joints on, on every corner. These churches that preach false doctrine to people, to keep, uh, allow people to keep being in that docile uh, Christian mindset, you know, to forget, love thy neighbor. Which When they say that, they're talking about the Edomites, man. But which, no, you know, you're supposed to love thy neighbor as your fellow, your, your fellow Israelites, man. That's in the truth. You know, but they take Christianity, take everything out of context, man. They don't read it within its right context, you know, because as apostle, I would say the Lord is not dealing with them to know how to rightly divide the word of truth. You see, um, but going back, um, Psalms 94 verse six, it says they slay the widow and the stranger. And murder the fathers, man, right? That's all. Because Esau is, that, um, is a bloody man. You know? And who who is the widow and the strangers? That's us. You know, widows. Look at that word widow. It's a woman that's, um, her husband died. Widow as also a desolate place. Let's see. 
widow, a woman who has lost her spouse by death and has not remarried, right? You know, a lot of our women, uh, husbands died. You know, that's the average story of Jake. You know, single pair of homes, you know, um, strangers. You know, we're in a strange land, you know, because we really are strangers in this land because this is not our land, America. You know, our, 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 our land is Jerusalem. Uh, get that to prove that Jerusalem is the mother of us all. Mm -hmm. It's the mother of us all. Con, this is Galatians 4 and 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Right, so Jerusalem is our homeland. You know, not Africa. You know, Jerusalem. That's where we're from. You know? Um, but going back to Psalms 94... In verse seven, it says, "Yet they said, the Lord Yahweh shall not see; it, shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it." Right, and that's how stupid Esau is, man. He, the Lord sees everything. You can't hide yourself from the Lord, man. But that's that pride, man. That's that pride. Go to Jeremiah twenty-three and nineteen. I mean, um, no, Jeremiah twenty-three and twenty-three. Uh, 24 it says, Can any hide himself in a secret place that I shall not see him? Said the Lord Yahweh, Do not I feel heaven and earth? Said the Lord, Right, so no one can hide themselves in secret places. The Lord sees everything, man. The Lord sees, the Lord knows things on the right hand side and on the left hand side, man. But that's these these elites, man, these Edomites, these rob trials in them, you know. They feel like, you know, they don't think the Lord is seeing it. Neither shall the God Jacob regard it. And the Lord is gonna is regarding because you afflicted his people because you're touching the apple of his eye, man. You know? Apple of his eye. Even when you when you afflict the wicked of our people, you still uh you eat is still um held accountable. You know, it's Zechariah 2 and 8. It says, For thus said you have a host, after the glory have you sent me unto the nations which have spoiled you. For he that touched you touch, touched the apple of his eye. Right, so, you know, we are the apple of the Most High's eye, man. You know, we are the, um, the, the, uh, the nation of Israel is a woman to the Most High. You see, you know what a man does when, a, when another man touches, touches his woman. You know, it's on after that, man. The, his, the husband's going to protect his woman, you know, and, and defeat the adversary, man. So the Lord's going to do the same thing to Esau. You know, when he sent, when the heaven fire, Yahweh sent his only begotten son back, Yahweh Shai. You know, it says, uh, but going back to Psalms 94 and 8, it says, understand you brutish among the people and you fools. When will you be wise, man? So the Lord said, understand you brutish. Brutish means stupid. Brutish is from a uh, Hebrew word, ba'ar. Ba'ir. Which means, uh, I remember looking it up. Um, let me see. Brutish. I know it means stupid. You know, like foolish. Some, uh, yeah, right here. To be stupid. Barbarous. You know? And that's Esau. Esau is that fool. As it says in Psalms 14. You know, Esau don't believe in the most high. He's atheist. You know? To the chief position they saw him David, the fool have said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that do of good, man. So the fool have said in his heart, there is no God, that's Esau. You know, he believed that he's the most high. You know, which will make it not brutish person, that foolish person. You know, it says, verse 9, Psalms 94 and 9, He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? Right. 
the lower plant of the ear in the lower form of the eye. So you don't think he he he's, he he hears and see what's going on? <laughs> <coughs> you know, because they limit our power, Yahweh Shemar Shai, greatly in this society, man. You know, the Lord is omnipotent. It says he that Since he that chastises the heathen, shall he not correct? He that teaches man knowledge, shall he not know? Shall not he know? Right. You see, the Lord, you, you can't out exceed Yahweh by Shemel Shai, man. You know, no matter how much wisdom you claim you have, the Lord is on a high level, man. As, as the Lord said, Isaiah, my thoughts are not your thoughts, man. It's the reason why the Lord said that. So man cannot get proud. Um, Isaiah 55 and 8, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts than your thoughts, man. So the Lord is on a high, way higher level than these elites, than everybody on the earth, man. You know? But... <laughs> These these devils, man, they just they, they think the Lord just is, you know he's he's limitless. You know? I mean he's limited, it's like it. No, the Lord is limitless, man. The Lord is unlimited. You know? But uh Psalms ninety four eleven says the Lord Yahweh know all the thoughts of men that they are vanity, that they are vain, useless. You know? And that's right, man. It's one of my favorite precepts as well. The word vanity. It's from the Hebrew word her ball. Which means vapor, breath. You know? Uh, vanity. Uh, vainly. You see? So the thoughts of man is vain. You know? Um... Verse 12 says, Blessed is a man whom thou chasteneth, O Yahweh, and teach him, teaches him out of that law. Right? And that applies to the elect. You know? Because the Lord chastised the ones he loved. You know, which chastened. Let's look it up. It's from the Hebrew word, Yasar. Yasar, which means to chasten, discipline, instruct. You know, the Lord disciplined the ones he loved, man. You know? Or proveth. You know, sometimes those chastisers don't feel good. But the latter end of it is, is uh, you know, your inner man, your for mental fortitude is, is stronger than it was before you got afflicted. You see? Um, it says, oh, Lord, and teach him, teaches him out of that law. Right? Because the Lord is all about teaching or building, edifying his elect. Building, building, building them up to be stronger than they were than what they were before. You know, and it all starts off with the mental strength. You know, because the Lord is, is about what's in the inside now on the outside. You know, according to First uh, Samuel sixteen and seven, the Lord looking upon the heart. You know, it says uh, Psalms ninety four and thirteen, that thou mayest give him rest. The days of adversity, you know, that's going to happen in the kingdom, man. You know, the days of adversity is going to be in Jacob's trouble. You know, man, in America, man. You know, until the pig be dig for the wicked, man. That's right. The wicked is the Edomites. Biblical uh, Edomites. So-called white people today. Caucasian race. You know, because they will go into slavery, man. You know, they will be in pits. According to Isaiah 24th chapter, you know, it says, For the Lord Yahweh will not cast off his people, neither will he, he forsake his inheritance. Right? So, we never been forsaken, Akim. The Lord never forgot about us. You know, it may, it may feel like that, you know, but the Lord, you know, um, has, has always remembered his covenant that he made with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That he will never forsake the nation of Israel. And that we shall be as the sand and the sea and the stars of heaven, man. You know? You know? So, 
That, that's a blessing, man. You know? It says, verse 15, um, and we are the Lord's inheritance, you know? As it says, and um, let's get that to prove that. Deuteronomy 32 and verse 8. It says, uh, point in verse 9, but I'll start at 8. It says, When the Most High divided to the nations, talking about the other nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord Yahweh's portion is his people. Jacob is the law of his inheritance. Right, so the Lord's people is Jacob. You know, which is not a name for Israelites. You know, so we are his people. You know, there's another precept to prove that we are his people. Exodus 3 and 10. And it reads, Come now therefore, and I will send thee. And this is when the Lord Yahweh was speaking to Moses. You know, it says, Come now therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel out of Egypt. You see? So the Lord's people are the Israelites, man. Children of Israel. You know, which we go on children. Children means bun. You know? Um, you want to talk about children? Children means bun. Bun, which means son. The Lord deals with the men of our, men of our nation. Let's go to Proverbs. And four, it says, Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. Right, so the Lord deals with the men of our nation. You know, we are, because we are, the men of the nation of Israel are like, it's like the woman in the eyes of the most, to, to the, it's like, is the woman to the most high, Yahweh, you know. But going back to Psalms 94 and verse, uh, verse 15, but judgment shall return to righteousness, and all the upright and harsh shall follow it, man. Right, man. And and that's what this world needs, judgment, man. Because the world is filled with sin, iniquity, and, and very prideful, man, prideful people. So judge is going to turn to righteousness, shall return to righteousness, man. You know? Because the Lord is going to purge out all these evil spirits, these evil people, man. And he's going to save his elect. And then he... The, the world's gonna be ran by the elect. Yeah, it's like the the, the world will be ran by Yahweh Shai in the elect, which will be the governing body in the kingdom. You know, which shall return to righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers, or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? And right, and the answer to that question is the elect. You know, because on the Lord's gonna put this spirit on the elect to withstand. Uh, the evildoers, man, to not conform to the ways of this world. You see? Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon, Apocrypha. It see how much time I got on this computer. 23%, but when I can finish uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness, which the righteous man is the elect, standing up in great boldness, you know, when they go out with the highways and byways. And, you know, um, when they go out in the highways and byways teach, teaching and doing these videos, you know, these weekly videos, you know, and that applies to the elect. Before the face of such as have afflicted him, which who has afflicted us? He's, he saw these heathen, heathen nations, even Jake. You know, even our own people afflict us. It says, and it made no account of his la neighbor, labors, man. That's right. So these people, when we go out, we, they made no account of our labors. Oh, they, what they doing is in vain. You know, what they saying, it ain't going to come to pass. You know? You know, just you know, a few examples of of uh, them not making account of our labors. When we go out and teach, you know, you also can apply that to, you know, Building up, there's a building up America. You know, nobody don't acknowledge all the labor that the free hard labor that we did to build this place up, and we never got rep reparations for it. 
as a nation, as so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. But, you know, our reparations going to come in the kingdom. You know, and that proves that Esau is cold-hearted, man. You know, he didn't give us no reparations, but the Lord will give us reparations in the kingdom. You know, and put put your put our foot up for your ass. <laughs> you know, and we can't wait for that, man. For, for you heathens to be in um in the downtrodden state, man, and we be in the nation of Israel be exalted and praised. You know, um. Psalm 94 and 17 says, Unless the Lord Yahweh had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence, man. Right? So we need the Lord, especially in these troubling times, man, because we don't want our soul to dwell in silence, man. You know, we don't want our adversaries to laugh at us, you know, for them to say, Oh, the Lord ain't going to deliver you. We don't want that, man. You know, which, you know, sometimes they can say that. The Lord can put the Spirit on them to say that just to. So he can be justified and showing his power to them, you know, but we want the Lord to come through when we need it, man, when we need him, you know. This is when I said my foot slippeth, thy mercy, oh, yeah, how it held me up, man. So it's all about the mercy of the Lord, man, and tender mercies of David, man. We need that. You know, we all sinners. We still sin, in the, even in the truth, you know, but that's why we need Yahweh Shai to come and save us, man. You know, because we weak right now, you know. We need our power, Yahweh, by Shimon Shai, you know. We can't do it on our own, you know. It says, uh, verse 18, I mean, um, verse 19, In the multitude of my thoughts, within me, I comfort delight my soul, right? Which is, a, a com I comfort delight my soul, that's the spirit of truth, you know. Um. Spirit of truth when the world cannot receive. This is a comforter. Yep. St. John 14, 17 says, Even the spirit of truth when the world cannot receive. Because it see of him not, neither know of him, but you know him. For he dwelleth in you and shall be in you, man. You know? So the spirit of truth is a comforter. It says in St. John 15, 26, But when the comforters come, whom I will send unto you for my Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. Right? We go into the um, Greek. It's, it, it, it really means it. You know? It's not talking about a man. It's talking about the truth, the Spirit of truth, the comforter. You know? So going back to Psalms 94, Verse um, nineteen, in the multitude of my thoughts, with, in the multitude of my thoughts within me, that comforts the light of my soul, right? Which is the spirit of truth, you know. You know, knowing that you know we have a savior, knowing that you know we're gonna, you know, um, the Lord is gonna help us, man, in time of trouble. You know, knowing to just lean upon the Lord, you know, for sal uh, for salvation, just keep our faith and trust in him that's all we need to comfort us man you know to know that we're not going to be forsaken as long as we don't forsake the lord you know and that that gives you that gives us comfort man um verse 20 shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee you know which frameth mischief by a law right the answer to that question is no the throne of iniquity represents you know the demonic esau's uh Esau's demonic kingdom, you know, it's not going to be a co-op kingdom with Yahweh Shai and Esau on the throne, no, it's going to be Yahweh Shai's kingdom, man, you know, and that's it, you know, with, with, with the elect being joint heirs with him, you know, so, you know, the Lord doesn't, um, it's not going to be, a, it, it will never be like that, you know. It says, verse 21, they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. That's what's that, That's what they're going to do very very soon. They're going to gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous. They're going to, you know, try to come out and kill us. They're going to condemn us to, condemn us in, in the media saying we wicked, we a cult, you know, we racist, you know. 
you know. They don't do they don't do everything they can that they don't do all that rich witchcraft they can to deceive the people to make it seem like we're the evil ones, man. But really they are. You know? All we gotta do is be blameless and um in the sight of Yahweh by Shemoshah and he will protect us, man. Just like the Lord did for Daniel. You know, Daniel was blameless and they was condemning them um heathens because they were envious of Daniel da uh, Daniel. You know, and they were condemning him because, you know, he prayed to Yahweh by Shimon Shai three times and the king had made a decree that, you know, no man can pray to his God for thirty days. And they caught Daniel praying to Yahweh by Shimon Shai three times a day. You know, and that was just, you know, um they hated him so much, some heathens, envious of him, and they told the king which led which was Darius, which led to them um put him in the lion's den but guess what the Lord delivered him man because he was blameless so the same thing we want the same thing to happen to us little one man you know this is verse uh, the Psalms 94 and 22 but the Lord Yahweh is my defense and my God is a rock of my, my refuge right so Yahweh by Shemoshai is our defense not our guns you know not in carnality no it's our power, Yahweh by Shemel Shai, that gives, that gives, uh, gives us the strength to, to warn our battles, man. You see? Uh, verse 23. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity, and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yeah, the Lord Yahweh, our power, shall cut them off, man. <laughs> I like how that, how that sounds. <laughs> yeah, man, that's right. The Lord going to cut off our all our enemies, man, that have done us wrong. The Lord going to avenge us all of our adversaries, man. The Lord will be part of the elect. All, everybody that have done us wrong, the Lord going to avenge us, man. The Lord will we those men, you know. Because the Lord don't like when um, people mess with his elect, man, you know. Because these people are wolves out here, man. They 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 waking the evil on me, you know. And they prey on the righteous. Um, yeah, um, yeah. Luke eighteen and verse seven, and shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Right. So the Lord Yahweh is gonna avenge his elect, man. You know, because the elect is crying day and night. You know, crying, sign and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. According to Ezekiel 9 chapter. So the Lord will have that thought wall on them, that exemption from judgment. You know, and the Lord's gonna uh, avenge, avenge them of their adversaries, man. You know, as it says in 8, verse 8, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? That's a question. And, and yes, the Lord will find faith on the earth because he is elect. It's going to be moving by faith, man. It's going to be waiting on you how it's trying to come back to deliver them, Lord willing. You know, Lord willing, we those men, man. You know? So, yeah, I can, you know, um, just want to do a lesson on that. You know, the Lord going to cut off all them and their wickedness. You know, the Lord going to cut them off, man. All our adversaries, you know, all the Esau, you know, two-thirds and the heathens, man. You know, only one, that, only one that's going to be left standing, that's going to be saved is the elect, you know, of Israel. So, yeah, I can, um, low one, I can edify, you know, it's been another lesson, uh, book of Psalms, Psalms 94 chapter. And until uh, next time, I can, Shalom.